Okay, so it's time to start connecting some garden lights and things to my uh, outside power cabinet. Uh, I'm also going to have some lights in the border of the garden, some lights uh, in the patio, so there's going to be a lot of cables that run down the side of the garden. So I've decided to go with a steel uh, box section uh, conduit system. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to connect that all up. So if you can see in the background here, I've already mounted a vertical steel post. On top of that will be a 2x2 two two, uh, or 50x50 50 50 millimeter uh, box section. You can see here some conduit coming out of the ground, which I already put in. That conduit runs to things like these uh, surface patio lights. So that will be a good way of getting the cables from here through some conduit and down underground. You can see I run a string line and that string line runs through and goes all the way uh, down the garden. So if I just take you down here, you can see there's a string line right in here. So I've got my levels. Here's another upright, two more conduits that go underground uh, to the patio. Um, so this runs all the way down. I've already dug uh, a hole, as you can see here. Uh, ready to mount the next one uh, so that's about 30 centimeters deep and it's about 120 150 millimeters wide uh, so before I uh, mount the next one I'll show you how I made that and then we'll come back and concrete the next one in so I thought I'd just show you how I made the upright uh, steel supports uh, for the uh, for the trunking so I bought the steel uh, section um, so very sturdy probably overkill uh, but nevertheless uh, I got these they were quite cheap so these are if you can see that these are 40 mil wide by 40 mil high so square section uh, but it's a u-shaped section uh, the U section itself is 2. Oops, sorry. So 2.5 millimeter thick and curled round. It's got this slotted uh, pre-cut out, which is going to be great, as I'll show you in a minute for putting the bracket in. So the total length of these brackets are. Let's just measure that. So that is 700 millimeters, 70 centimeters. So the idea is the majority of this goes in the ground and about 300 millimetres stands proud. The rest is just put in with some um, concrete um, mix in the ground, uh, about 30 centimetres in, as I said. And then what I've done is I've got some brackets. These are pre-made right angle brackets. And these are, let's just look at the dimensions. So the thickness 40 mil to match the thickness of the of the upright and then each of the lips uh, or the angles is 45 millimeters so the idea is that you get one of these brackets bolt that on here and then that gives you the ledge uh, on which to rest the square trunking and then put a drill and put a bolt through to hold that in place so that's the raw materials i also got some washers of various sizes here and i got some four mil um, nylock nuts and some four mil um, metric bolts to go through and hold them all together so that's the raw materials if i show you what that looks like when it's done so i got myself some spray paint so i got some gray primer and i got some satin black just simple rattle cans for those the bar actually is pre-galvanized so it's rust proof anyway but I thought I'd just give it some paint just for some extra protection plus once it's in the ground I might spray some kind of camo paint on it just to hide it in the background so here's what they look like when they're done so I've sprayed the bottom half in black this is the bit that goes in the ground and then the top half is still in grey primer so that I can spray uh, some camo colour on that at another uh, point so the next step is to take a bracket which I've also pre-sprayed and I've also made the hole slightly bigger in the center for fixing uh, to the strut as well as to the um, the conduit itself so all I need to do is place um, this on there and my, my um, conduit is two inches by two inches so 50 by 50 so I just need to put this 50 mil down 
so and bolt that in place about there i can adjust it later and then all i need to do is use these um these fixings let's just get that in focus a bit more so i've got a bigger washer which will span the uh the slotted strut a smaller washer just to make sure that the five mil bolt goes through and holds properly and then the five mil nut on the back so i'll just go ahead and screw that together So there we are, all done, screwed on. You can see the nylon nut at the back and the large washer spanning the slot and then the brackets on. So when this is standing upright, the box section will just sit in here nicely and I can drill through the bottom and then put a bolt and nylon nut on there to hold it all in place. So that's how I've gone about making these uprights. And now I just need to get this one bolted, uh, sorry, cemented into the ground and then I can put the conduit on top and start running all the cables. Okay, so the upright's mounted in the hole. And if you can see, the string line runs through the center of the fixing hole, nice and square with the line there. So now I'll be able to get two of the three meter lengths down to this point, and then I need a few more to go down the garden uh, for takeoffs for different uh, little lights in the uh, border as well as a shed I'm going to build I can run a cable uh, in the conduit to supply that so next thing to do knock up a little bit of concrete and get this set in okay so the concrete's all set left that overnight so it's gone off that's nice and hard everything's still upright and in place so all I need to do now is just fill that in put the dirt that I dug out back over the top and then that's ready so Next, I need to go and get the uh, two by two steel conduit, lay that on the top, drill holes underneath and get that bolted in. And then I can start uh, running some cables. Okay, so I've got most of the uprights in place, as you can see there. So they're all concreted in. They're in gray primer for the moment. So I can spray over those if I want to try and camouflage them in a different color. I've also got the uh, metal conduit that goes on top of it. These are three meters long. So you can see they're just a square box section, two inches by two inches, 50 mil by 50 mil with the lid. They're steel and galvanized. These ones, you can see a slightly different color. I've sprayed some additional galvanized uh, spray paint on top. And if you look, I've also drilled a few holes where the conduit is going to go in and exit from the uh, uh, sorry cables will go in and out and go to the electrical cabinet and go to the various devices that I'm going to be powering so the next thing to do is just get these mounted and bolted on to the the uprights and this is what the metal uh, conduit looks like when it's mounted on top of the uprights you can see it sits there it's about 300 mil off the floor and then disappears down there in the background to the electrical cabinet so all i've got to do now 
is tidy these up, bolt them on. I'm going to paint them in a camo colour so they disappear a bit and then run all the cables. I got myself a couple of uh, cans of paint, uh, some sand colour and some forest green. These are camo paints, not sure if you can see that, it's a bit bright in the sun. I wanted to um, hide, if I could slightly, the steel trunking. So here you go, here's the trunking that's been camoed. You can see that I think it's come out quite well. And then behind it, you can see it in galvanized spray primer ready for paint. So I think this looks a lot less obvious. And then what I'll do is I'll spray the uprights as well to go with that. And hopefully with a few plants in the border, this uh, blends away into the background. So let's get this installed now on the steel uprights. Okay, so the conduit has all been camouflaged up. As you can see there, I've installed it on the uprights. So all I need to do now is connect the conduit that goes underground to the various patio lights up through to the base of the uh, the metal box trunking and then I can run the wires uh, all the way down through here uh, to where my electrical cabinet is and then uh, that's all done. So next stage, connect up the conduit and run the wires. Okay, I've started to run some wires now. So here's one of the uh, patio surface lights. There's the hole, both wires come out. That feeds through this flexible conduit there that you can see goes in under the new um, metal camo box section and then you can see the wire now goes in the box section and then it comes out through another conduit and then up to a connector here and then if I just look inside the box you can see the wires coming through the connector here and then they're just coiled up, ready to go into the power supply. So you can see there's another wire that runs all the way down to the other end to another um, patio light. So that's the first one almost done. Just got to wire it up into the box. Got myself a little uh, warning sticker as well, why not? So uh, yeah, that's nearly done. So I'll be back in a second when it's all wired up and, uh, and live and ready to test. Okay, so this stage of the wiring out of my electrical cabinet is done. Uh, so you can see now I've got the plug socket in, all wired in and powered up. I've got my Asus uh, RP-AX58 uh, mesh node. So I've now got uh, Wi-Fi coverage in the back garden and that's been fed by a backhaul via the ethernet cable back to the router. So I'm getting some fantastic speeds for that. I've also used one of these glands uh, to power through this conduit, um, my patio lights, which are these, so they're now all powered up. Uh, so that's as far as I'm going to go with this stage. I've got some more other things that I need to do. I need to run some power to the garage uh, and to the shed and a few other bits and pieces. And just as a reminder, there's the 2x2 two two inch or 50mm by 50mm uh, metal conduit which is now in camo. I think that blends in pretty well and by the time I've put a few more plants in here that shall uh, disappear I think. Anyway I hope you like the video if you do please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care everyone.